Okay, we should be live, hopefully. Fingers crossed that this works. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. Hey, Kerb. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly. But they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Okay, so yes, we are doing some spoopies. Unfortunately, for those of you who watched the first chapter, you're gonna have to rewatch it because um, the game fucked up and did not save. So yeah, we actually I had to actually uh, uninstall and reinstall. Am I? Well, that sucks. Just turn down the game. Mm -hmm. Um, this is an indie game. It came out fairly recently, I believe. Curve was nice enough to gift it to me. Um, basically, the premise that I've figured out so far is that we are, we're extremely depressed. Women killed ourselves. Now we are in the underworld and we are going to be tasked with going to meet five people who we have to deliver to the Queen of Maggots who we will meet very shortly. So yeah, it's a very cheerful game. You're going to end up with warm fuzzies and feeling good about yourself. It'll be nice. I'm strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Do -do -do. So how is everyone today? Hopefully doing well. Nice quiet Sundays all around. Hmm. Ambulance. Yes. I can't go any further. 
The ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there's no exit at all. So, open the door. Let's see what's inside. It's locked. Okay. Huh? What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me. Because when you hear a strange tap tap tapping from inside the ambulance, it's always a good idea to go back. It's me, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? I look so calm. It's a lovely noise. My eyes, just about one thing I liked just about one thing I liked about myself. Even now, they still shine a little. Take it with me. The key. Your mouse. Okay, bye. Too much Jesus in meow? Is that why you're tired? Come on, bitch! Okay. Shoveling, shoveling. What's that mean, B? Why would one need to shovel? It's it's lovely outside. Oh hello dear. Snow Snow. What's snow? <laughs> Florida. Yep. Not strong enough to pull. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Too long, too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? I don't know. Let's go find out. I like the art style in this game. It's a bit unusual, I think, but I like it. It, it had to grow on me a bit, but it did in the end. Get the deer. Come back, little deer. I want to be your friend. Ha <laughs> ha, dream. Yeah, the animations are a little bit unusual. My dead body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? The body is too high, I can't reach. The rope is tied into a knot. It took me hours to undo this knot. Or bolted. I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Huh? Chase the bird. Come back, bird. No, come back. We'll be friends. This game isn't sad, it's it's just about death. And depression. And stuff. <laughs> Who's done this? 
Is there anyone else here? No, I'm sure the deer did it to himself. Can't say that I did dream. Buying Saints Row. We owned Saints Row. Hey, Frobo. Oh my god, dream. I'm just sleeping. Oh no, both of us had a gruesome display, at least not my head stuck on the bars. Um, both of us had owned it already. It's locked. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? Um, last time we said she was death, so I kind of don't want to say that again. So we can say an old lady who lives in the woods, God or the devil, who do we think she is, guys? An old lady lives in the wood. So we're gonna play. So we have one for two, one for four. P goof is not an option. Thank you, though, Hubert. So. Four. We have two for the devil. Two for two. <laughs> you guys are doing this on purpose, aren't you? Um, well, to be fair, Meow was first with Old Lady in the Woods, so... An old lady who lives in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> Am I really, Susan? Are you that naive? Or perhaps you're too stubborn to see what I really am. Good job, Meow. You made her think I've that we're dumb. i all that time for you, and now you disappoint me. You wasted your time waiting. I'm not worth waiting for. I'm just nobody. And you, to me, you're just a strange old woman sitting on a porch of her house. And those flowers you're holding, what are they for anyway? I'm going to put them on your coffin, dear. After everyone's gone. I wouldn't bother. I hate flowers. What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom, and this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But then... Uh, is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. 
I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. A lonely seashore. Hey, <laughs> Slinky. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the fallen ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. And yeah, meow, I think her accent is some sort of French thing. And it kind of annoys me that sometimes she'll pronounce the, the TH like when she said breath. It sounded like breath, but then sometimes she uses she uses the French pronunciation, which sounds more like a Z. So that kind of my immersion. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me. But I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows? I it could be your only friend. I did not actually be. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back Let's your do, there's happiness nothing there. in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You would be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Is there anyone else here? Hi. <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. Oh, I just got I it now, B. Everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. I have no reason to live. Please, just let me go. <laughs> I've wondered the same thing, I Funky. Tried. I really did. But it's never going to be okay. Who knows? Maybe, but one way or the other. This isn't the end of your story. It's only the beginning, my dear. And there are great things waiting for you. Believe me. What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? They're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. You yeah, know, because everything they just were talking about wasn't very serious at all. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not Ordinary people, they're very special. 
Just like you, only in a slightly different way. I don't know what that image is, Slunky, but all the other Americans are saying that yes, that's America, so sure. Yeah, that's America. Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. And I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. I don't know about you guys, but when I talk, I always throw my head really back and forth the whole time. What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. I don't know, Hubert. These days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just I don't know if you can here. die in this game. I guess we'll have to find out. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. 
This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. I can't do this. It's I personally much. will not stream King of Limbo. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. So there we can't die. We're immortal. You will not die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. Honestly, I don't see anyone here streaming it, um, but you don't know, maybe maybe one of the guys will feel that they just can't go on without it. It's blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will Quite help wrestling. you make up your mind. Follow me. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you would endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you can't. Crucified, all alone, in one place that's changed all. I really don't want to be here. Bird. Stuck to the cross. I suppose I could pull it out. Susan. It's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Fine. I'll do what you want. Excellent. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. Lights up. We're back in the house. Yes, but there is something else that must be done. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I'm speaking of. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood. It doesn't sound good at all. See those candles here? Just blow one out and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. 
Then on your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much. Just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Fine. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. When you leave my house, head to the field. That's where you should be. Goodbye, my child. I'm not going to be far. I've never been. Okay, so now we get to choose which candle we want to blow out. We have this one. We'll call this candle candle one on the far right. Candle two, three, four, or five. B says two. Hubert is not helpful as usual. Meow says two, always two. Okay, two it is. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. That music. See how easy that was? Now, head back to the field. Should we try and you blow out another candle? Do, Susan. I kind of want to blow out another candle. Candle four. I think that's enough for now. Oh, they won't let us blow out any more candles. Okay. It is dream. It's very weird. I like it though, in its weirdness. What the? How did I get back here? Yeah, it's it's intriguing. It is in its weirdness. But you know. It is what it is. I like weird though. So. There's a lot of dialogue to kind of slog through, which I'm not a huge fan of, but at least it's decent dialogue. I have not saved yet. Um, we'll call this... Uh, Durka Durka. Save. Okay. You all see it? It's saved successfully. Now we're going to put our dick in a hole. So that just happened. Mika Mick. Mika Mick, Mika Mick, I don't know. I think he is the, uh, the musical inspiration for the game. Remember, we had to make a sacrifice of blood. Just a few drops.
Why is this game is so fucking spoops? <laughs> it, it's sort of... Um, I guess it's more like a visual novel than... than a, a, a game, I guess. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do enjoy No, you're not fine, dream. Art. Thank you for noticing. I There's hate this guy's voice. I just want to punch him in his face until he starts talking faster. Often fail to recreate. Can I just click I it? always wanted to be an artist myself. I cannot. But it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are you're my You're not pain. streaming that game here. But my job is more about restoration. Obviously, I look at the damaged human Really, you're gonna join the Navy? Why are you gonna join the Navy, Dream? To their former Where did that come from? I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just, it's been a you're difficult. Being serious or are you days. being facetious? I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that guy. you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? She's awake, Doctor. Ah, oh, this lady's voice. Good evening. <laughs> I really it's wish I could. see you awake at last. I hate the hospital You're staff. The they the talk lake, forever. Just yabber, yabber, Andrew. yabber. I'm one of the doctors. Could you confirm your name for me, please? Hi, Susan. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. I you might experience well. extreme tiredness and lethargy kind of for a couple sometimes. of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Susan. Yeah? Please, don't try to speak. Please get out. I'm done with you. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Please don't, because then I have to talk to you, and you just talk forever and ever and ever. I might just start their conversation and then go and use the restroom really quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. What what kind of My accent Liz, does she have way. here? I I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Well, sh okay. Oof, I hate this place. <coughs> Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. 
You are so lucky. It's crazy. You doing what you've done and her walking in, seeing what she yes, saw. Yes, the alligator. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Goodbye, Welsh nurse. Do the Polish have a thing for the Welsh stream? Is that why it makes sense? Oh god, Hubert. Not you with the puns, too. Careful, the pig will come. Oh, do they? I did not know that. Bad dream. What kind of nurse just comes and sits on the edge of it? I'm gonna ignore her. Maybe she won't talk as much. You don't want to talk about it. Don't worry. I understand. Sometimes it's easier not to talk. To keep it to yourself. I feel like that here sometimes. A lot, actually. As soon as you open your mouth, you realize that nobody listens. They might pretend they do. But you can tell by the eyes. Eyes will always give you away. My nan used to say that. The thing is, I don't care anymore. I'm just playing a game now. Like everyone else. Just All right, give me like game. five seconds. I will be right back. Um, what? I'll search and dialogue. Hope it lasts long. Me. Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills, and I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm, and then...
Patriots. Go Patriots. I woke up here and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel that I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Oh, I just want an option that says, leave me the fuck alone. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Okay, this, I don't well, need to know this. I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Yes, I'm sleep. tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. I don't want super character Thank development. They will be watching you. Mostly How because I, I find her to be extremely annoying. You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Okay, get out. Oh, not this guy We'll again. start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and You got a thing for them rest. sheep lovers? This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not. Like we said before, it's about There is no what gameplay is here. How you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life Let's revolves... Let's see, should we have a miserable childhood what was or your father like? a happy Did childhood? You have a good relationship with him? Yeah, I had a great dad. No, he wasn't a good father to me. I was brought up without a father. So he was a bad father. Okay. No, he wasn't a good father to me. <laughs> he was a cold, scary man. Had this wall around him. Looks a bit like I could never talk to him about batch. anything. He wouldn't understand. He'd just punish me instead. 
Maybe it's his fault I got some wires crossed in my head. Because he never loved me. I've always wondered what it feels like to have a loving dad. Maybe it's not too late to fix things between you two. It is. <laughs> He's dead. Cancer. Six years ago. I see. But it isn't too late for you to put things right in your heart. Have you forgiven him? Did we forgive him, guys? Can we ever forgive? Benedict Cumbus Noodles. No. Why would I? He doesn't deserve to be forgiven. All he did Dance? was make my life hell. He destroyed my childhood. Oh, dose. He always made always me too. Right. sad. Yes, sad is the word. It's all true, Susan. But the okay, anger so as far as me, I was concerned, the answer is always too. Years isn't doing you any good. Don't you think you would be a better, stronger person if you could rise above it all? Aren't you becoming a bit like him, angry and bitter? Aren't those the things in him you hated most? My mind is already made up. I will never forgive that son of a bitch. I hope he burns in hell. Oh, well, we're using swear words. If you put it it's like really that. mad. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to All tell right. me Was our mother him? loving, absent, or was she horrible? Well, it says at the beginning of the game you should be 18 plus. Okay, so we lost our mother. I lost her when I was still a child. So you were brought up by a single <laughs> <of control. laughs> What happened to your mother? She... Did she die giving birth? Did she abandon me? Or did she commit suicide? Alright, I got three. Alright, we're going with... <laughs> you guys are all... Committed suicide. <laughs> Making One the ultimate RP character. Had this horrible fight. I listened to it while lying in bed, forcing myself to go to sleep. It went on forever. And then, all of a sudden, there was silence. I kept hoping everything was okay, but I still couldn't sleep. I had this feeling. You know, that something wasn't right. And then, I heard this horrible bang that echoed through the house. Yes, just like that. I got up. My legs felt like rubber. I went to the living room and saw the cellar door was wide open. For some reason, I already knew what happened. Maybe because you heard a gunshot. I didn't want to believe it. We had a gun in the house. Wait, a she committed rifle. suicide with a rifle? It was in a box on top of the wardrobe, so I couldn't reach it. I wasn't even supposed to know about it, but I did. And at that moment, as I stood there on top of the stairs, I Do you know how it difficult it is to fire. actually commit suicide My with a rifle? Came out of the cellar. He looked like a ghost. Then he said something he would regret forever. He said, go and see what your mummy did. I could see tears rolling down his face. I stood there, paralyzed, and he shouted at me and said, just look at your fucking mother, will you? This is ultimate sad so childhood. Hi, mommy. We love you. I never should have listened to him. I still see her today when I close my eyes. You certainly had a very traumatic childhood, Susan. I'm sorry. I can only try to understand what it feels like to lose a parent. Yeah, because at his age, I'm certain his parents are still alive. Your are rooted deep in your childhood. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, Isn't and it? we will talk about something else. I told you else. guys with warm fuzzies from this game. Okay, now we're free. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Actually, Meow, the, um, uh, when we did it the first time through, we did it uh, with Happy Childhood. Both the parents are great. They still died. The dad died of cancer. 
and the mom. I can't remember what happened to the mom, but yeah, she died too. Oh, hello, Joe. We're gonna take a lot of gloves. I don't know why, but we are. You show some respect to Serious Joe. Taking one glove from every room. I don't know why. I'm not sleeping in someone else's bed. Well, fine. There's nothing under the pillow. Whatever. It's a list of drugs for patients, side room one, and some notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton, 35 years of age. She's taken a lot of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of it all, she's taking methadone for heroin withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be easy. Something. It won't be easy for me to leave the ward. Yes, clearly that's what I must do. Let's look at her. I bet she thinks those red room glasses make her look attractive. This is why this bitch has no friends. She's looking at this poor nurse who's just trying to do her job, and all she can think is, fucking red glasses. Dumb whore. I know her kind all too well, completely dedicated to Robbie, totally brainless and closed-minded. That, that's a lot to tell from one person based on the color of their glass frames. Discharge letter for Ann Burton, currently a patient inside room one. It seems she has admitted herself into hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Take Please it. do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Hello. Inside. I guess I should wait my turn. But I really gotta go. What's my drug chart say? List of drugs for me. A lot of sedatives. Stuff can make a knock out a horse and give me a headache for a week too. It also causes hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy, I know that for sure. I only tried to commit suicide. If anyone's crazy here, it's somebody put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Except to make me, you know, not kill myself. Bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. This bitch is so bitter. No way I'm taking them. I don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. Nothing's worse than chrysanthemums, guys. What else out here that we can fuck with? Um, folders. Let's take some folders. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry, are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Oh, she told me. Let me through. I'm going home. Can I see the discharge letter first? If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. You have no right! I am a free person, and I'll do what I want. I'm not staying here a minute longer. I'll have to see the letter first. May I ask what your name is? I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. Oh, he wants to give me the D. Not fighting him. The toilet door. Wonderful. Is the door open? Put the club on my head. 
I'd like to go home now. Can I make a phone call? I feel much better. Can you please discharge me? Tell those security guys to let me through right now. I'll tell them in a minute. <laughs> I just have to finish my writing first. I'm not kidding. I want you to let me go right now. Could you calm down, please? There's no need to be rude. What? I'm not being... I'll be with you in a second. We're looking after a lot of patients here, not just you. Let me finish this. I can't remember what I was going to write. I have to start all over again. A bunch of rubber gloves. Look, they're quite heavy, actually. Maybe I can use the gloves to smack the people. Can I? How do I get out of here? Ah, okay. I'm gonna smack the guards with the gloves. No idea. You bitch, you're not very creative, are you? I don't have a bucket, guys. I don't have a bucket to put on my head. I am not the shadow chicken. Must be the patient from side room too. God, doesn't she look confused? Everyone is really tall in this game with unusually elongated arms. Another suicidal patient. Strange. She looks like someone I know. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um... Yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful suicide name. Suicide smock? Yeah, sure I What's do. What's a suicide smock? Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Meow has actually mm. streamed Scribble Knots before, uh, yes. None of these names are her name. I don't know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, I personally would enjoy another alone. Scribble Knot stream. There's that alligator again. On the side. Read. Please stop writing messages in the mirror while we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining a high level of cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Let's take the shard of glass. One, one, one. Hey, Jackie. It says eel. Let's search it. Let's take a medication pot. Okay, I don't know why. So, I already know the mom's name from our last playthrough. So, should we press the bell, try to get someone in here, should we go back to the guards and threaten them with a piece of glass? I think you guys are going to want me to, uh, I'm 
always do. Look, I did a thing, guys! I don't know why that would be a thing, Slunky, but we did a thing. Let's press the bell. Someone is coming. Will you press the bell? Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. <laughs> What if I stab this patient? If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. I don't know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. No, her mom's name is Sheila. Doo -doo -doo. So we're gonna try using this. And then if that doesn't work, we're stabbing him. I'll save before I... So to, yeah, unfortunately, it's an Amber's name. I'm Anne. Okay, so... Let me... No, I just want to save this Durka Durka again. Save! Durka Durka. Okay. It's not fucking Elizabeth, Mr. B. Is there any folders I can take? No, I don't want to take any folders for some reason. No, B. I've already done this portion last stream. <sighs> Maybe I can go stab the guard. Shall we swap our name bands? Mother always told me not to talk to strangers. I can't take it. I I'm being good now. Only talk to my nurses and good friends. What if I give you a glove, bitch? Can't think of anything to do with it here. Hmm. It wasn't you who did it, was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. I don't think I examined the mirror after the EIL portion of the name appeared. <laughs> I haven't told have much self down. Let's use it. Because we're dying to wee. Aw, oh yeah, guys. Quality gameplay. Let's look at it. Um, I guess we'll flush it. <laughs> K 
can't look at myself. Oh, it's so hard to be me. <laughs> Disappointed with Daisy at the moment. I don't want you to look at yourself. I want you to look at the, the, the mirror. I'm just going to press the button. I'm mad at Daisy because they nerfed all the uh, all the drops. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer the bell. Look, I'm a nurse. I have a lot of paperwork to do. We're doing our best here. It's not my fault that suicidal fruitcakes like you come here and scratch and piss on the bloody walls. Hey, don't speak to me like that. I'm not suicidal, and I'm not a fruitcake. And I didn't scratch anything, let alone pissing on the walls. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? I'll have your name, so I can make a big fat complaint. There is no need for that attitude. First, you are being disrupted when I'm just trying to do my paperwork. And now you are threatening me! Oh, you should know we are only following the doctor's orders here. Now, forget that silliness and let me have a quick look at your wristband. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, alright? If we refuse, then she just gets some orderlies now, in. It down, and they force it down us anyway. So we're just gonna do it the easy way. Because I'm a nice person. Go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Sheila. Can I examine anything? It's like you come in the bathroom, you leave a zombie. So hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? Red liquid is gushing out. We, we should definitely lick it. Yay, let's drink it. Or maybe we don't want to drink it yet. Where's the other girl? Let's go into our room and see what's going on in there. I'm gonna drink the liquid. Okay, so we 
can't drink the liquid. Maybe we should lie down for a bit then. Yep, doing it right. There you go. Good girl. She looks even more like a meth addict now. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Let's go drug the girl next door. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Do you know how to get out of here? We're not supposed to get out. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything. Because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. The red now stuff from the spider's is heart. Something special. Delicious. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, Every now and again, be Okay. I'll see not what often. I can do. feel like sharing. What's your name? There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. That's cheerful. And my treat, my red stuff, it's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could, just one more time, but it's all lost now, everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize, you know? Thank you, Mar. About these name bands. Oh yeah, I don't mind. We can swap our name bands as soon as you bring me the red stuff, but remember, it's hidden. You have to follow the heartbeat of the spider. It's right there, in the world of dreams, the world of nightmares. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. Oh, okay. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. 
She said I'd go to hell for it. But I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. If I could get out of this girl. dialogue, be nice I'd be happy girl. to give it to you. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes, go. Be careful, they're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Never. Poor woman. I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they? You know what? It doesn't matter. Just give me your Thank you for your help. Now go die. And Jennifer Burton. Yay, now we can get out of here. Let's go. Fuck all y'all. Fuck you, fuck you. Ah, thank you, Rada. That, that's good to know. I don't want to examine it. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. Ooh, there you go. Sausage. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. <coughs> see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. You kind of a bitch. I like how I don't have, you know, civilian clothes. I'm still in my hospital gown. Oh, hi, doctor. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk. Stretch my legs. Get some fresh air. This bitch. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. If this took place in America, we we managed to sue your ass into the time. ground. On time. You have no idea what I've been through. Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients. <laughs> without point, a full Pete, psychiatric assessment. But you don't need insurance it's too to late sue. For it now. But I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning. I don't want to have a chat in your office. I hate home. you. Is that all right? No. I haven't really got much choice, have well, I? Fuck yourselves, all of you. 
Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal. Does but anybody it's else want to stream? That you answer me dream as honestly or... as possible. Fine. Um, yeah, well, let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's that sucks see. Me. Are you living alone at the moment? I don't have anything to stab with. All right, I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I live on my own. It seems to be just fine. I live with a friend. She must be worried. Yes, Dream. Didn't you say yesterday that you were going to stream and then you didn't? Um, we're going to go with number two. I live on my own, and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. Mini ninjas. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the wow, time. Wow, meow. I felt That's really just awfully me. tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel strong and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Oh, why do I have to go through my daily routine? This is so dumb. I have a cup of tea and read a newspaper. Oh, uh, that wasn't Perhaps an option, Radha, but you know, if first, it had been, I, I definitely would have gone that route, yes. Day. Just something to think about. Sure, I can try that. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? I... yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I didn't realize this game was going to have I've actual therapy sad sessions. sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure if I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? I like how the answer's cut off and there's no way to see what the rest of what the rest of it is. Something to fight for. You know? A reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression, or some other form of counseling? Yes. It didn't help much, as you can see. Oh my god. Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. I like this I, game for the most part, but I the dialogue really, really just drags me down. Time. You're doing very well so far. Do you have problems sleeping? I lie. Maybe if I lie and tell I'm happy. I sleep well then. most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Annoyed. I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. I just give him positive answers. Not Maybe really it'll go sure how yet. But I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? No, not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? No. That's good. Alcohol is a powerful depressant. I never really liked drinking. Excellent. 
Sometimes you mean that's when life gets somehow. too much Excellent. and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? <laughs> no, I just tried to commit suicide, but I never think about it. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it or plan it. It just happened. <laughs> I don't know, Meow. As if I'd suddenly it's a theme. lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Awful doctors. Strange, isn't okay. it? Please, in your own words, oh try to explain to me. Why did you really try to take your own life? Since? Because I wanted to come here and meet you so badly. It was just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. I had a really rotten day, you know? I felt like I was suffocating between the four walls of my bedroom. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? Oh and then I, don't I saw care. the sleeping pills. I thought, I don't want to delve into my character's I psychosis. I just want to go on and help the Queen of Maggots do her thing. Or that life isn't worth living. Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. <laughs> I feel stronger. I'm, th I'm Besides, starting to think so, yeah. I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? Not having to talk to you. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? People. They've let me down too many times. I don't know who to trust anymore. I only trust my cats these days. So that's a you say in the suicide note. Because that's true. I've been stabbed in the back more times than I could count. Well, if you start to someone I used funeral, to know. And how people will react to your death. Oh, I never really thought about that. But I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people like me. <laughs> Maybe they just throw us in a hole and Trusting forget about it. Since they'd be made to visit stupid. my grave anyway. Cats are evil. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or so they want people to believe. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Who the fuck Eric? is Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? I'm what not married between you two? Yes. It's getting late. Can we talk about it some other time? Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay. One more oh question. God. This is just a formality. Reach across the but table I have to ask, you. are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But, hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are nearly done here. Nearly? There's just one more thing I must clear with you. You don't know what, what one exactly more means. Happened Did last you keep adding night? things? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Oh, now I'm... Playing I myself went after in a daydream. Her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Harry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. Hmm. 
<laughs> the Thank security everyone. guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Dream's waifu. Dream has a waifu in every game. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please waifu. trust me. I know this a way out Welsh of waifu. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Yep. I think I can hear someone coming. She's going Damn to shake it. them. We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Seems legit. What are we doing on the roof? Liz! What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz! It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Your wife is a little Let's bit crazy, Dream. Trip. It won't hurt. You'll see. You've lost your mind. Get down here right now. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. Dream, why didn't I you listen. love her better? You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? So, was this the woman who disappeared and was later found dead? The one who kicked security guy in the crotch? We never talked to her about a guy in A and E. That's the thing. <laughs> we never had this conversation, Dream. She's your wife who you should know this story. She probably told you. Did you listen, Dream? What is it? Tell us. Which one is it? Well, we're waiting. Dream is Dream's waifu, so... Yeah. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. You looked maybe it up, didn't right. you, Dream? <laughs> or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait. Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me, and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. She's a stripper. Yes. That one I remembered. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened! I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care, anyway? I... 
don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped, and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care, my family don't care, even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? <laughs> Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Yes. Your wife, who is day. one you needy bitch, dream. Good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said. Achievement unlocked. I listened. I, I'll be back when you need help. I'll be there, Susan. But right now, <laughs> it's time for me to let. Wow, go. dream. No. But she's your waifu, your Welsh waifu. Well then, she was your Welsh waifu. Wow. Dream, please. <laughs> After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Well, you know, necrophilia, cake, see, go hand in hand. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked? I plan ahead, Sus. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such oh, a difficult Oh, he's gonna try life. and put it in me. I don't want I your like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. Hannibal, will you stream for us today? For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Oh, my. We just got shanked, guys. Did, did we get the bad end? Alligator, shush! Did we fail the Queen of Maggots? Where am I? Is that, it sounds like a bit like the pose in the background. Pippin, come on, Abby, get down, get your rope. Oh, oh, okay, giant eyeball on the TV. Who, who are you? doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I feel it is Susan can miss them. Okay, so I kind of missed that a bit. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, okay. Does Susan like my girls? No, Susan doesn't like your girls. 
whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? Uh, I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Wait. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which. It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. Well, does it really matter? What I'm questioning is also the leads to find the right door. Okay, so it's like the doors in Labyrinth. I wish it stopped staring at me. Yeah, I can't I can't save over the other one, so I have to keep making a new one. That'll teach you to stop staring. You horrible, ugly doll. Alright, so let's ask. Which door should I enter? Which door will lead to my reward? Which door will take me back to my world? Is the door to the left the one I should open? Which door would the other doll point me to? Is the other doll a liar? If I enter the left door, will I get my reward? Which door would you enter to get the reward? Which door should I not enter? Well, guys... <laughs> Which door should the other doll point me to? Okay. Are you using the labyrinth logic for that, Slunky? Which door would the other doll point me to? But jingling is not an answer. I guess this is the door. Alright, this is the door that this doll would point me to. So should I go through the unlit door then? Is that is that what we're what we're doing here? Is is this supposed to be my reward? I got the achievement for flowers. The great reward. I hate flowers. You lied to me. Damn it. You lied. Thanks, Crow. Nice guy. And a Vidush bag. Okay, can I drink the ash? Is that a thing that I can do? I can't even take the vase. Oh, we're back here now. Oh, I have to do this again. Blow up this one. I don't mean to be insensitive, Grandma, but some time today, please.
They're awful calm about this being a code blue. Those lovely noises. Ooh, let's poke it. Hospital body bag. Let's open it. Okay. There, there's no hospital body bag anymore, though. Game. Game, it fell on the floor. Looks like she's going down on the corpse. Susan's a freaky lady. Surprise, it's us. So do we, I guess we only have a certain number of retries then, based on the, uh, the amount of candles we have to blow out? No! No! What the? You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Alright, we finally get to kill somebody! A piece of sharp iron bar is stuck in the girl's chest. Well, let's rip it out. He brings his victims down here in hospital ba body bags. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. Old rusty door. Wasn't even locked. Well, of course, I'm not a prisoner here. He thought I was dead. You should never take things for granted, Doc, because this might just be the biz biggest mistake you've ever made. Yeah, that's why I keep playing, you know. Honestly, if there was... If the game... If the actual gameplay portion of the game wasn't as good as it is, I probably would not continue to play because the dialogue is just so painful. Oh, God. It seems... I've seen some of this before in the living paintings. Except this here is a dead body suspended on wires tied to a chair. Lovely. So he he makes. I'm walking, moonwalking. Okay. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. So he is a serial killing psychopath. Nice, nice. It seems he used a lot of makeup turned a spitting image of Mona Lisa. Lovely. That's just fantastic. Isn't it? Is there anything over this way? You never know when you're going to need some soap. Oh, there was something. Looks very sharp. That. Yes, because um, the having a having a an iron bar and saw isn't good enough. We need. To make a shiv out of our out of our soap, yeah. Face skeletons probably used for teaching before it ended up here. A large metal bolt. Are we gonna make a saw? I have a feeling we're gonna make some sort of awesome weapon of torture. The doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. Probably make a weapon here. Oh goodness. 
we are going to pull MacGyver. Okay, yeah, build, build your weapon now. Okay. So apparently we're missing something. Oh my. Another poor victim of the mad doctor. There's something shiny on one of her fingers. A metal nut is stuck in her finger like a ring. I could pull it off if the finger wasn't so swollen and stiff. Her own body's positioned in exact way as the painting. It seems the killer used fire to keep her head tilted to the side. Open it quietly. Oh, we're gonna wrench. We could try the slope, and if that doesn't work, we'll use the wrench. Could call in the soap though, meow. Oh, okay, so we need to go get the soap wet. I like how we're, we're not at all concerned about the screaming woman here. We're just sort of like, yeah, okay, whatever, we are. We're just gonna go murder the doctor. So we don't got time for your bitch assness. Sorry, Rada, it doesn't look like we're gonna use the soap to make a shiv. <laughs> Who is that screaming? I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Louder, I said. He punched her, he's punched her in the tit. That's just yes, cruel. but this is by far my favorite of songs. <laughs> the tit punch is his favorite part of the song. Dance. For you, unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. Your body, an instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. I like how the, the, having a metal pipe was not weapon enough. I have to actually make a weapon instead of just, you know, hitting him over the head. You hang tight there, girly. Hmm. 
let's go. I didn't think so, meow, but we'll go see. And Rada, the suicide note, um, if it was hers, we actually read in the very beginning, but we can go back and look. <laughs> you would, you would think of that, Hannah. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live, yeah, we that's the, the beginning. The monologue in the beginning was her reading her suicide note. Yeah, so for that one, there's nothing. Okay, so we have... No, I honestly don't think we can. Because when we go here, only options are examine. It's a long steel bolt. Examine. It's a metal nut. I took off the dead girl's finger. And I don't have... Yeah, my mouse isn't in the game at all. Hmm. Combine wrench with skeleton. <laughs> yes, yes. Very helpful. Very helpful. Let's see. Hmm. Well, that didn't. That didn't work. But you know, good suggestion, Slunky. I know. It's like I don't know why I need to. I don't even know why I need to make a weapon because honestly smack him with, you know, I had a saw, I had a lead pipe, I have a wrench. There were. I'm dead for a while. Th this one is the one I got the, uh, the pipe off of. And I can't do anything else with her. in there. Oh, I can. Oh my. This body is quite badly decomposed already. While real art lasts forever, doctors and models will soon rot and fall apart. That sick man. How did he manage to hide all this madness? I guess he can get a hold of Nermine, so he uses this creepy baby doll instead. Okay, yeah, let's, let's take... Let's read it. It seems this place has been closed down for a long time. One day, when they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will get buried deep under the piles of rubble. Oh, hello. God, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet here she is, stuck on a metal rod. Looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. Oh, Liz. Pockets are empty. Take the damn body down. Yeah, I'll take the key. Now take Liz's body down. I hope she at least finds some peace and death. Clearly she hasn't because she's haunting the place. So there's there's that, you know. Alright. So for our weapon, we have a baby doll head, a wrench, a screw, a nut. Y 
You guys are, are pretty fucked up. Did you know that? I just, I just want you guys to be aware. We actually didn't get the rod from Liz's body. And when I went and I walked over her body, it didn't give me an option. Chair. What can I do with the chair? I will pick up the chair. Well, alright then. Lucky I didn't sit in it, still the wooden leg might be of some use. It just seems a bit of an edge on it. Yes, because, you know, out of everything we found so far, a wooden shank is, is the most creative we can get. This isn't your Vaseline, Hannibal. Oh, I did get the iron bar. I should secure the top of the weapon now, so it stays in place when I use it. Now we're talking. Spear. Yes. Alright guys, let's go murder us a doctor. Why do I have a baby's head though? Oh right. Sharp scratch. You'll feel a sharp scratch. He finally got what he deserved. Hope he rots in hell. Just saved this girl's life, but why do I still feel so angry? Yes, yes, quiet, quiet. Thank you so much. You would have you would have killed me. Like the other the animal. You you gave him what he deserved. Who are you? They call me the cat lady. Now get out of here. <laughs> so we're like a police. superhero now, guys. <laughs> I'm going home. Alright, I've been going for a little over two hours now, so um, I think I will call it here. I will save. Quit. Uh, I know this was a bit arduous. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I hope you did enjoy some parts of the cat lady and Standing that it wasn't all. Standing by the river, I wonder, do I need this? a stone? No. Well, now we're going to wait for this. My heart you is know. heavy enough. It's never enough dialogue. It will drag me down for sure. Yep. I would love to end it. Cutscene just doesn't want to seem to end. I'll be so pissed if this doesn't save properly. So pissed. I need some cigarette. I'd love to see my cats too. Just pretend for a minute that everything's back to normal. It's survived after all. Maybe now I can try to enjoy little things in life. Okay, yeah, I can do this one step at a time. Alright, there we go. Alright. See, I can't actually get over to my other save file, so we just gotta... 
Rename it again. Durka Durka save. Okay, it's all saved. Yay. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.